A simulated casualty is rushed through Bastion's Roll 3 hospital. This was the start of General Lorimer's visit. He saw for himself the sophisticated facilities which have helped so many injured service personnel survive throughout the Afghan campaign. The general was brigade commander in Helmand back in 2007, and he's about to end a year-long appointment as deputy commander ISAF. Over the years, he's witnessed how the country's changed. You just have to look around Helmand. You go into Lashagar and to Goreshk and other parts of uh, Helmand and you see the improvements in all areas of life, in governance and uh, development, in, uh, you look at the, uh, the roads, schools, healthcare, education. And it's a fantastic legacy in that respect. And I think uh, everyone, uh, all the British soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines who've been involved in Herrick over the last eight years should be very proud of what's been achieved in Helmand. British soldiers, of course, continue to serve in Helmand and will do for months to come. The general spent time with the brigade advisory team who mentor the Afghan National Army across Helmand, a priority as drawdown approaches. I've seen a huge uh, improvement in terms of their capability on the ground. Uh, we've got an Afghan Air Force, which uh, is, is a capable organisation. There's much better integration between the Afghan National Police and the Afghan National Army. And I think this last week, when we've seen the second runoff of the election, uh, how successful that was. So I'm very positive about the future of the Afghan National Security Forces. British troops are expected to continue mentoring the Afghan National Army at their new officer academy in Kabul. The exact role and scale of an enduring British force in Afghanistan is still unknown and will depend on the new Afghan president signing the bilateral security agreement by the end of the year. The UK has made a commitment to the Afghan National Army Officers Academy. Uh, you know, we may do other things and that has yet to be decided. We just had the numbers from uh, the US and NATO has to go through its fourth generation process and so there's a, a lot of decisions still to be made. Meanwhile, the insider threat from Afghans turning their weapons on their allies remains a concern. Even a general has to show his ID card to get into the cookhouse. So what about the safety of a much smaller British force? Everyone who's involved in setting up the Afghan National Army's Office Academy uh, will ensure that uh, all the right equipment, all the right procedures are in place to keep our soldiers and uh, the people there working at Karga safe. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that we're paying a lot of attention to that because it's very important. On the edge of Camp Bastion, the Royal Artillery man the gun line. The 105 light guns aim out into the desert and beyond. As his visit drew to a close, General Lorimer was presented with a cartridge case from one of the very last rounds to be fired by the British in Afghanistan. Um, a poignant reminder that this campaign is drawing to a close. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, Camp Bastion.